Trayvon Walker at four? Really? Let's talk about it. It's about two months ago when Daniel Jeremiah mocked Trayvon Walker to the Giants in the first round. Me and a whole lot of other people asked the question, who is Trayvon Walker? Because this guy was considered to be like a second round pick and Daniel Jeremiah believed he was going to be a top 10 pick. So yeah, we were all confused. Who was Trayvon Walker? Do some digging on that, watch some highlights, look at his stats, and I was like, Trayvon Walker is a boomer bust type of player. That's who he is. And is he worthy of a number one overall selection? Absolutely not. I mean, is he very athletic? 100%. Did he have the best combine performance out of anyone this year? Possibly. But what he put out on the field and what matters the most was it impressive? His, in his three-year college career, Walker finished with nine total sacks and 13 tackles for loss. In 2021, he had seven and a half tackles for loss and six sacks. So pretty much half of his entire college stats came from his final season. And that final season wasn't even a breakout year. He didn't jump onto the scene. He wasn't this dominant player getting constantly posted by SportsCenter. No, he was just an afterthought on this Georgia defense. I mean, if you're selecting an edge rusher to be the number one overall pick, you're at least expecting this guy to be the best player on his team or the best defensive player on his team. But Trayvon Walker wasn't even a top five defensive player on Georgia's defense last season and never has been. He was just a complete afterthought. And Pro Football Focus, who does have kind of a flawed grading system, normally gives the top prospects in the draft really good grades. Trayvon Walker finished 2021 with a PFF grade of 70.5, which for a top prospect in the draft really isn't that impressive. The highest grade he had in a single game last season was 76 against South Carolina. So tell me why Trayvon Walker is a top 10 pick? Why is this guy worthy of potentially being the number one overall pick? I don't know. I mean, all these analysts are saying production's coming from Trayvon Walker, but what is that based off of? What is people, why do people think production's coming from Trayvon Walker? I mean, you can say the same thing about any other draft prospect. I just don't get Trayvon Walker's hype. So anyway, what do you guys think on Trayvon Walker? Do you love him? Do you hate him? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by hitting the subscribe and like buttons. Check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, at you underscore jets for more content. You can also check me out on Let's Talk Sports, writing some Jets articles for them, appearing on some of the Jets podcasts. And if you don't want to just see me on Let's Talk Sports, they have a whole lot of other content on their channel channel, podcasts, or so many other sports. So if you're interested in that, check their Facebook page. It's linked down below. And I'm your host, Drew, signing off for now. See you guys later. Peace.